Welcome, these are all the cheese ships, corvettes, frigates, cruisers, heavy cruisers and more. I go to easily review all them, one by one. The cheese like cruiser, it is a very small ship designed to intercept small ships. It is the scout from the cheese fleet. This ship can be replaced in one point by other model. The Kili Patrol Corvette, a more advanced ship with the primary goal from intercept enemy fighters and bombers. It is the classic Lancer. What to say? It is a 100% anti fighter unit. The Chief Chrysler, it is a small escort ship with poor weapons. It will be one all design from the cheese. The cheese heavy chrysler, a bigger ship but a poor all design. Originally called it as the Imperial Carrier, but I prefer the Imperial Attack Carrier. It can be replaced by one variant, but I don't know. It is a small ship carrying many squadrons of fighters with a low amount of weapons but very powerful. The Lodona Strike Cruiser 2, another ship that I will replace by a ship with similar capabilities, a escort ship for the destroyers. The Eidolon is a torpedo ship, but this ship should be replaced and um, even playing with the Imperials, it should be remade for be a different type of ship. The Cardinal Frigate. This ship had very powerful shells, but now I have lowered them to level 3. It fires heavy masters and anti-fighter guns. It is a very good escort ship. The demolisher should be other of these ships to be replaced. The Slaver Picker Carrier, similar in size to the demolisher, perhaps it should be the replacement, and we will see other ship in other class. It is a powerful ship, but with lower shields than the Cardinal, more a carrier than other thing. The Algol Frigate, a heavy missile escort ship. The Ivalice, another escort ship. The cheese comes with mostly small ships, heavy masters and missile launchers are the weapons from this ship. The next step is the cheese Victory Star Destroyer, a Victory Star Destroyer without the bridge. The Fanagut is an assault ship or assault carrier and it will be replaced one day. The Harrow is in the same line, a small star destroyer that I will replace one day if I can. Half of the ships from the cheese should be replaced by different designs. The same happens with the Imperial Star Cruiser, even with the Interdictor variant. And here we can look at the cheese star destroyer Mark 1, a ship close to one battle cruiser, more on an advanced star destroyer. There are three variants and each of them is more powerful than the other. A fleet from these ships can handle everything. The type 3 comes even with super heavy masters, torpedo launchers and more.
It is the Titan, a special variant from the cheese, and I do not know if I should replace it or customize it more. The Reza is a very special battle crusher equipped with a super laser, probably too powerful. I think that it will be better with a less powerful super laser, just capable from destroy small ships. It is the Cecilia, a heavy carrier. What to say? It is big, very powerful. I have saw it before. Finally, the Herhow, a superstar destroyer equipped with the most powerful weapons from the cheese. Now you know all the cheese ascendancy ships and a little more about what I go to add for them.